In this video, we'll show you how to incorporate Doltween into both. This video is brought to you by the Astro Galaxy Game Room Project and Course, a tutorial series filled with hours of content and professionally developed 3D models, textures, and 2D sprites. In this course, we will not only take you step by step through things such as creating game systems and mechanics, but also how to use and master lighting and rendering in Unity's various render pipelines. To instantly gain access to hours of high quality tutorials, professional level game assets, and much, much more, click the link in the description and begin your journey to creating the next great game today. To begin, we first need to download and install Doltween from the Unity Asset Store. For those of you that are unfamiliar or heard of Doltween, Doltween is an extremely fast and effective way to create animations within and between your components in Unity using C Sharp or a visual scripting engine. Additionally, Doltween is also free, although there is a paid version that contains more features. However, the free version is extremely robust and should have all the functionality you need to create almost any type of game. Now that we have Doltween downloaded, we can now click import to incorporate Doltween into our project. Once we have Doltween successfully installed, you should now be met with the setup wizard window. At this point, we can click the setup button. Once Unity is finished compiling, click the applying Doltween utility. Next, we need to connect Doltween to Bolt. To do this, go to the tools dropdown and under Bolt, find and click Unit Option Wizard. With the Option Wizard open, scroll to the bottom and click the plus button. In the assembly search bar, find and select Doltween. Once that's complete, click the Next button. Within the Type Option panel of the Utility Wizard, we need to add the three Doltween units that we're going to be using within Bolt. To do this, click the plus button. For the first unit, we'll add tween. Second, we'll add do tween. And lastly, we'll add shortcut extensions. Once we have these three added, we can now hit the generate button and let Bolt incorporate DoTween within its code and generate our new node. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see this and many other tutorials, game development tips, interviews, and free game asset giveaways.
to instantly gain access to hours of high quality tutorials, professional level game assets, and much, much more? Click the link in the description and begin your journey to creating the next great game today.